This is Budramula, the legendary singer. I was born in this area of Granville, where we call them Budram Trace. The place was named Budram Trace. And at the age of five years, I went to Granville Archery School. After passing examinations, I went to Point 14 Vocational Center. And then from there, I, well, during that time, from five years to 12 years, going to sing in Kutia and temples and so. And um, our parents, who both mother and father, did the tutorship because they would know to read Hindi and Ramayana and so. And they taught us about the Hindu religion and songs and songs that what we they make of their own and songs that what we hear. So I started singing at the age of five years in Granville School. I went concert. We had to sing um, a song and the song was um. Rasa Sayam Re, Rasa Sayam Sayam Re, Near Nahina, Rasa Sayam, under the tutorship of Mr. Thakuri. But um, it was nice being in school days, and um, we have a lot of um, friends and so and so who just join and sing with us in temples, both in Granville and down in this area. And then we started to sing more songs at the age of 14, 15 years, and then I started to go. Outer Trinidad, like other countries, I think at least 20, 25 years ago. But I, I still um, had to receive with some of the classical singers in Trinidad, like Isaac Yankaran, um, Ram Charitar, who joined together with them, singers like um, um, Sibalak Pampinal, Ram Barros, Bail Bagai, a lot of Tulum Dindial, Hani Pomit, all these classical singers. And I know Hindi, so I could have pronounced the words in them properly. And I know what the song means to me. And then I entered in Masana Bahar and thing, and I came in the final twice. One time I came third, and one time I came fourth. But um, it never left, it was no stopping. And then since I know Hindi, I started to sit with my parents and then I do songs. And then uh, come in mood uh, later on, perform in other countries. Then I wrote um, songs like I be a killer and thing. Jaya Bia Kila. And then Chutney song like Tal Gori Jamuna, Karam Wanda Bhatri, a lot of songs. So that we keep going and up to now we still continue singing. And um, at this age now, at 67 years, I stopped, uh, retired from Petrotrit. I worked for them for a long while. And then now, uh, well, um, being diabetic, you wanted to put get amputated, but I'm still singing and so. And still try to keep yourself going. You know? So your parents talk to the thing. Very well. Um, in terms of the composition that you sing, are those original compositions that you use? Who are there? With the assistance of my um, parents and them. The guidance of them. You know, like they will tell you, are you singing about this song? What does this song mean? You understand? Okay. And um, tell me about the language. Is it standard Hindi? Is it old school? Is it old school? Is it what is it? Well, we did Hindi first. And Hindi was nice, I tell you, pronouncing Hindi words, right? So instead of you say um, Bhagawan, you say Bhagwan, which is God, right? And when you pronounce the right word, and even though you want to know what the word means to you, then you know where you could sing and be on the right track. You understand? But if you pronounce it, and so if you're singing Ramayana with them, they tell you, sing, Rahu Kulerit Sadatali. Ai Prana Najai Varu Bhattana Najai That means you say that the promise that you make to people, what you say with this mouth, you must fulfill that promise. And if you didn't pro fulfill that promise, then you are not a person, you become a liar. And when you become a liar and God doesn't want to accept you and the earth doesn't want to accept you, then where you'll be hanging is be. Original composition. Well, I, I wrote a good few of them, and you know, um, up to last week I did one, but we haven't recorded yet. You understand? And this song is like about who captured the radio station in 1947 with Kamaladin Mohammed, and he was um, responsible for bringing East Indian radio program on Trinidad on 730 Radio Trinidad in 1947, and brought out singers like Isaac Yankaran, Ramdhani Sharma, Yusuf Khan, all these. Classical and Sunday morning Indian hour. And then they had Indian talent on parade on Friday. You understand? 
So by listening to these guys and them and the pronunciation, and um, we started to learn. And we know that bhajans and books we used to get from the Divine Life Society. Bhakti bhajan like Prabhuji Mere Aho, Mori Lage Lagana Guru Charananaki, Shiva Shankara Bhole Bhale, Juti Janam Gavaya Sadhu. So all the bhajans you start to learn them, Materi Mambata and so. And by learning bhajans you get to pronounce more. And then you start to listen to classical songs. And start to practice classical songs, classical drum and classical style. From one, two, three different songs until they go right up. So you say whole atmosphere, one spoken thing. Yes, very well. You understand the language as well. Yes, because they explain the language to us. When we do not understand, they will tell you, well, this is so and that is so, because they could read Ramayana and they only read Hindi. Yes. So when they tell you in Hindi, that's what it means in English. Yes. I want to go back a little bit. Yep. Would it be your grandparents that came? From India. So India? Yeah, Hulas and Janki. What are their names? Hulas and Janki. Okay, and that is the maternal side or the paternal side? Both sides, um, the Hulas side was um, Farah Farah, and um, my mother side was Sukudevaji from down here. But I don't know much about down the mother side where they were from. But I know my father and, 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 um, and grandfather and grandmother, they came from India because we had the people from India. Okay, you can say which specific religion is here, what particular part? One was from Lucknow and one was from Bihar. Okay, very good. And when you want, one who went to Bihar market to sell in, for leave Bihar by train, I went to sell in Lucknow market. They both of them meet here. But they keep it in that. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. But tell me something, who is the singers as well? Well, um, I guess that's my grandmother because I heard her when she died in 1964, I was 10 years old, and she used to sing. You understand? She sings um, like old bhajan and so, like old bhajan right now, only anything. You know, that's like she used to sing a song like this. Um, Bhaju Govind, Govind, Gopala, Siri Krishna Manave, Jule Nandalala, Bhaju Govind, Govind. She used to sing that type of song. But she was from Bihar. Right. I'm the grandfather, but she husband, that's my grandmother, husband was from Block now. You know that? Yes. And, um, but my father got married to my mother in Granville, yeah. And then we were born when they, they, my father got married. And my father was um, the founder who wrote the song Nani and Nani in 1968. And went to competition in Granville School in 1970. Soon they were take the song and sing it over. But um, my father wrote a lot of songs. Most of the chutney that was given to me was by both parents, mother and father. Can I describe you as a traditional chutney singer or a local classical singer? What what do you feel most popular that it is? Well, really a legendary singer. You could sing all the categories. As well as there being over a thousand film songs. And... Um, Songs like Pradeep, Manadi, and Mukesh, all these songs. I used to stand on the stage and say, any song that you want to hear, write in him and send it up, and I will sing them. You understand? Because be it Heman Kumar, be it Tarat Mahamud, any one of the singers in India, learn a vast amount of songs by them. So you to India already? Yes, 90 days I spent in India, and sang in about 20 or 25 different places. Okay. Yes. And how was that response? What type of feedback you got? How was that experience there in India? Well, the response was great because we didn't go to sing any song from India. This is our own composition, what we call Chutney Trinidad. They call it Bhoj Puri. Yeah, Bhoj. So when you start to sing songs like um, It means to say that if you get up in the morning, the song that I wrote together with my mother and then when you open the door, you see the Lord standing in front of your door. What you going to do? Jab ham jaane ghar Rama ji aye, achhe achhe bhojan banaye rakhti re yeng nahiya. That when you go to India, you give me the best food to eat. That is the best water to drink, and then you give him the best bed of flowers to sleep on. Have you ever participated in ten singing in the class? Plenty. You can shed some light on that experience. Okay? Yes, yes, it's very nice experience sitting down with these classical guys. When I tell you these classical like, like Yusuf Khan 42 years ago, and he died, did a powerful song like this. 
गए छीन में दलीर गए सुदाम जी छीन में दलीर गए रिकॉर्ड बिहार इन क्लासिकल स्टाइल यूट्यूब कान आई थी क्या कर सिंह लाइक मिल रे सुदामा श्री कृष्ण जी के आरो मोर रामा तो आई जी क्या करन राम चरित्र से लाइक साखी साखी प्यारे साखी भर दे मेरा बेमाना तो ऑल इज क्लासिकल मास्टर्स आज सांग दी गेरा वेरी मोनी सेम स्टेज इन द 60s एंड कम अलोंग टू द सेम स्टेज आल्सो और हानिक मोहम्मद इज सिंग लाइक कैलाश पति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शिव वाज अ ग्रेट वेटरन टू एंड सिंगिंग टू गेरा वेरी मोनी स्टेज शेयर द स्टेज विद देम टू गेट एक्सपीरियंस टू गेट नॉलेज हाउ टू सिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सॉन्ग and so you become more brave because you know hindi and you get to sing and you get to expand your voice and you get people to know who you are and people get to like you and support you as a singer what particular performance you would say has been most memorable or is there any yes 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 there there, there is a particular indian certain category and um in the in the field of bhajan singing songs like i be akila jai be akila everybody go with was that an original composition um there was a guy who wrote a part of that song in 1954 no in in um, in india he did not talat mahmood but um, he did only one verse of singing the song and he stopped but to continue that you have to make the rest of verses you have to make some of the verses on your own and then there was, I did on to that on the chorus and you did the road that he sang the song was a different road but I put it in a muslim road you know and when you sing it is like that and you put the the heights of the song real heights and bring it back down to the other that make the song now I know that you are vocalist but you play a particular instrument all but I like it dholak like the most dholak harmonium that that me whole life I play dholak and sing okay mm so sat and aside from singing and playing the guitar and everything yes i used to play cricket and go to school and to play football and thing but when i get engaged in singing i drop off all them because every day i are going to sing yeah yeah how would you say professional chutney and local classical singing have changed over the years has it changed and been so how ah uh, well the real root of it is classical singing and from classical singing emerged chutney traditional chutney because what is happening is that the classical singer is to sing the classical and in the fast part when they go up, they play the drum pass so people get up and they start to dance so the classical singer came first yeah and then the chutney traditional chutney came out of that out of that so they have it as classical chutney right now within classical singing we have different genre or different repertoire or different style yes Yeah, yeah. You can have two way, yeah. You can have low beat. Yeah. You can have so high. Yeah. 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 Right? That's right. Whole style that you, you know, experiment with and voice it. All of them. All of them. You start with sargam, followed by a, a dhulpat, followed by a tilana, followed by a thumri, followed by a ghazal, followed by bihag, then chaiti, then hori, and all the different kind of. Malar and so and so. Yes, every hour have a different song. Every hour. Yes, in classical singing. Right, and that is what we saw during the ten singing. Right. Yes, yes, in ten singing. Ten, in like me, based on this whole idea of peacock, was that a feature also in ten? Yes, that was um, well, peacock singing was really not um, I should say, well, it is really the beauty of singing. But um, it is like other singer want to tell you other singer that I better than you, or, or the other one will say, well, he better than this one. So the two of them clash together, and is who could sing better and who have better voice and who know more Hindi, and who could sing um, um, the better parable song. 
It's more bad that the Pekong is what they call parable, you know. Throwing parable for one another. And people used to support that, but that kind of uh, damaged the classical thing because if a young gentleman who, uh, my young gentleman who now go to sing classical doesn't know Hindi. And they throw up Pekong when he can't tell him he has to leave the stage and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? But I never leave the stage and run because I know Hindi. And I know that I could reply to them. And they sit down and watch me. Yes, yeah, there are a lot of them, or nearly most of them. And they start some of the persons who were very popular during that particular era of sensing some of the singers. Well, I want to try to try hard with Suhan Gildari. Um, before Hanif died, I um, want to try to Hanif Mohammed. Also, with um, the late Isaac Yankaran, about maybe one or two times in um, Freeport somewhere. And then um, in Himalaya Club with um, Ram Territor, and then um, Tulum Dindial in some in Tiverland. You know, the, the, the all, um, and we have classical things like Sibalak Rambros. And they were all good singers, and they shared the stage with them. Bob Lukai was a drummer from Pinal. And listening to them, and you want to learn the right way. But uh, when you're a young singer, and you're learning, you don't go on the stage and throw no pick on for no big singer. You have the right idea. Are there any challenges that you would have encountered during this musical journey that you were on? What are some of the challenges? Well, some of the challenges were to play my own dhola and, and, and create my own style, my own beat. So when I sit down and play a certain type of um, style of drumming, the other thing I said, I don't know because I combined that and I could play the dhola and sing technique in my own way yeah. and, that, and defeat all of them. You know that? Yeah. But also you have to learn the other style like Teen Tal, Dadra Tal, Rupak Tal, Zapak Tal, and you have to roll a Tabula, Barti, Tika, Cassian beat, horse beat, all these things. Apply to singing in all different songs and the different classical songs and so and so. Tumri and Hurpat and Tilana and the different classical hands you have to learn, you have to learn all of them. So whenever I come to play, um, to sing and you know the whole the style you play with. So each time have a specific time. Ah, yeah, different. Different. If you could change one thing in the music industry, what, what would that be? Well, I could tell you, the largest room in the world that could never be filled is the room for improvement. And we all have to improve in the music industry. You understand? And if we, we could improve in our music um, because the younger generation today will not know mostly about the old song that you from old movies, black and white movies. And they, some may like it, some might not like it. You understand? Because for instance, that um, the old songs where you have like uh, old things like some sad big um, they sing songs like um, Jawa hai mohabat, o si ka zamana, lutaya hai dille, kisi ka patana, oh, as well as in from Nagin, where they sing, um, Maladule Tira, Maladule Re, Dilka Gaya, Karari Re, Kona Bajaye Basuriya. So, those all time songs and the modern songs are what you have now, it's two different things. You understand? Even the actors in the old are different to the actors now, right? So there is that uh, the younger people today, they go for more the modern music. I can't give them wrong because all of them, I would say all of them does not know Hindi. Some of them know and some of them know, but they, they go to sing more English wise according to what they know what they're thinking about. And you will find that sometimes pronunciation of Hindi words that be difficult for them. But they could sing the English straight, right? But the thing is that uh, all depends on your mind. That if you want to make up your mind to learn Hindi and sing in the right way, you do that. And you can sing it in English, do nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, so this um, Kanze is telling you, Sandhya Sumiran Arati, Suno Veera Hanuman, I ask and Ligye, Pray Matahita, you're coming to sing on the stage, Pray Matahita for love for God. Whatever classical song, 
whatever the bhajan, whatever, but classical singing, most of them, they use that um, 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 doha, I should tell you, the thing to come and start the singing that they sing. Bhakti karo Bhagawan, o prema sahi, bhakti is devotional to God, and prema sahi to Bhagawan is love for God. And then they start the, the classical song, whatever song they will sing a song like this, maybe a drupat, maybe a thumri, maybe a ghazal, maybe a, um, a tilara, or maybe a, a malar, or maybe a hori, you understand? But most of the time they sing like um, a drupat and the drupat, they sing pertain to different aspects of different uh, people in different areas and so on too. And it, it was sometimes it's more really just like Ayodhya Esidham Tina Lok Emakar Ayodhya Esidham in the Lord, Ram, Kumakan, Tarvid, me for the man. Raja Ram, Kumakan, Taro, Ved me for money. Raja Ram, Kumakan, Taro, Ved me for the man. Akadram, no need, the Han, go the Han. Agat Ramanoni, Nahan Kojahane Agat. Agat Ramanoni, Nahan Kojahan. Bar Bar Shakti, the Sun Kojat. Sai Kapigan, Sai Kapigan, Hanuman, Ki Grigi Pan, Lal Dandam, Korat. In local classical thing, it is very nice. The song has very nice meaning that in that city of Ayodhya, everybody was marrying their servant too. And good, that is one of the most powerful songs that is taught in traditional classical thing. Yeah, I want to chat a bit on music, ritualistic music, music um, being sung during ritual. So, for example, long ago, when persons were engaged in any particular ritual, there would be a song to accompany it. For example, if you're using a chatter to grind rice, yeah. there would be a song for that. Yeah. If, you're, if you're making a, a salsa, there's a song for that. So what I'm really trying to get at is how popular, how common music during rituals was sung of it. So when a child is born, yeah. right? when there are certain wedding rituals, there's music to accompany some of this. And I think yeah. the sister would have done some work in this yeah. particular field. Yeah, well, for wedding and so, wedding and so, you do like bira, you understand? And then um, for, like, when a child born, they sing like sohar. Like, um, the sohar is like a Kehte Devaki Mai Suno More Kanta Pia Ulalana Kanta Raja Suni Pai to be tamar vae dale. That is Suhar. You understand? And they have Suhar for Ram as well as Krishna. They like one of the ideas about Krishna Suhar. But the Ram wanted to say, like, Ari Rama ke matwa tikuli ya bahute nikela gela ho lalana kosilya di godiya. Kelawat, Palana Julawat. So that's the Ram Suhar for when Ram Nauni celebration. 
and then you had the Krishna to her for when Krishna was born. So you have to sit down and make the song of your own and sing it in that to her road so that people will learn the song. And to know that you must know Hindi and you have to be educated. To know what to sing so those who know Hindi, they know what to sing in the book. You understand? It is a nice thing that when you could originate and write, write your own song and create your own road. You're not following nobody else's road, you're creating your own road. You understand? And that would make the tune um, a, a bit uh, more, more, more better because people never hear that type of road that you're singing. Would you say local classical music is declining or dying? Would you say it's dying? I don't, I don't think it is dying because um, we have already completed about 150 or 108 classical songs in the book. Right now it is in, in the um, print tree. The song he picked that we're doing at Hulput by Yusuf Khan, the song is there and the translation underneath. So those who sing the song know what it means underneath. Very good, very good with all the singers that he passed. All the singers that he passed. So that the younger ones will look at the song, they will sing the song, and they know what the translation is underneath. You understand? So once you have the translation and they know what they're singing, they will be able to express the song better. Could you tell me when and where will it be available? Uh, well, I, I think that it should be available about a month from now because recently we have sent it to the printry and then we have it headed by one or two doctors who um, know Hindi, profound Hindi and they are the one who encourage us to do this book so that the classical thing with the younger generation, they will learn something and this will live on. Mr. Holas, do you have any advice for young persons entering this particular chutney industry and local classical singing? Is there anything you would like to have a message to give them? What would that be? Well, I would give them the message because um, classical singing has bhakti in it, devotion. Chutney has none. Chutney has none because it, uh, nobody will go and, and sing a little prayer and then start to say, um, um, this girl and that girl and in English and this and that. Nah. Lucky I walk. Because if you sing in Hindi and they say Om Namah Shivaya and it's that a song like Mahatiri Mamata that coincides with that. But if you go into uh, um, sing a chapter in English, you might say um, what never meets you never pass you always bear it in mind. If a young man beats that, you remember your stage again and you start to chapter in English. Man like yourself, you can't trust again, the hijack can vote, the hijack can flee. What is that? Yeah. So never that saying that the, the trend is to the it, it's not a bad thing that they sing in English because who don't know the Indian and they want to sing in English. You can't stop them, they have to be a singer, they want later on they might learn India and they go they go get more involved with it. But right now to get into the um the kind of a to get into the kind of a classical um, thing, to get into the kind of the classical thing, you will be um, in a format that way you could sit down and study the Hindi language and then get into the traditional journey fully well after. So training in the local classical at first is important. Yes. To understand the principles and the elements of good music before you can deviate and do anything else. That's correct. It's good to have that grounding and that underlying knowledge of the yes. first before. Yes, yeah, this is where Tatni started, you know. Yeah. When I listen to when um, um, Ram Charita and these guys and everything, uh, they sing the classical song. And when they reach the fast part, they start to sing because like, sing, um, they sing in the Launi is a classical song. And they sing the song like um, this. Binika ji aje, O Maharaj laaje, Gai meri laaje, gai meri dukharo. Dwarika Nath Saran Mehtiri That is Launi Siren. And they come back now and they do the same Launi Siren in fast music like O Binika Ji Aji Maharaj Laji Gai Meri Laji Gai Meri Dukaharu Dwarika Nath and Chapti Siren. So you could take this song 
from classical and got both into Chutney. That's why I tell you, if they didn't sing it in classical, they wouldn't get the song to sing in, in this Chutney traditional. As well as you could take a Chutney traditional song and convert it back into classical. And finally, before we close, they want to set some light on the current project that they're working on. Well, um, this project that what we're working on really is to um, encourage the younger generation to get involved in playing a, one, a piece of instrument or get them um, encouraged in singing, um, learning Hindi, writing a song so that you'll have something to keep you occupied instead of you going, you know, you go straight in. But when you get yourself occupied behind a keyboard, whether a dholak or a tabla or a dhantal, or writing songs for people. You understand? When they write a song in English too, and just it doesn't matter. But you keep yourself occupied and from there you will develop more skills and more you understand? More educational and you, you will give them good advice as to how you will get this thing to go properly. So welcome. This was the um, Parama Rebo Club in 1992. 129 countries take part and this was said for Pakistan that the winner must get this value of 5,000 US in 1992, the first price. And some money about the gilders, but the gilders was no money to not to give them all the money to buy a cat scan unit to cure all the people in Suriname. When I take you only the money, I should come back to that. How you felt about winning this money? It's yes. like every day singing, you know, you could sing 100 songs every day, 7 days time. You sing 700 songs, you win. When I think about 400 songs in 3 days, because nobody could not go two days. You understand? And the two days when I alone sing it, all the other place shut down. So I had to end up and they say where they went. So when they make the presentation, I was happy because I went with about nine, 900 or, seven, or 1100 songs. Well, every song that counts, but you have more than three words, you must sing the song to them. You understand? Every song counts. Bhajan, Flint song, Chutney, Classical, every song counts. Marathon singing is like, who could sing the most amount of song in three or four days? The wind, if your voice is gone, you'll understand. And the voice that I had those days, 30 years ago, I could not run out of voice. <laughs> I could not run out of song. I didn't know so much song. I didn't know about maybe about a thousand songs. You understand? But I still sing about in the second competition, Mauritius. Um, and I have that championship too, that is championship day. Um, about 700 songs in 40s and so on, they was second. In India, um, a winner in that too, only songs in Trinidad. And in England, a win there too, and Anup was second. Okay. You know yeah. that? So you could you didn't tell people to write any song from the audience and send for you to sing? Yes. Any type of song? Any song they want. Right. Is the only singer like that, Budra? Well, I don't know if you have an next one, but you see, when you learn a capacity about 1.4 million songs, all, all kinds. If you want me to sing, I'll uh, know tune about Mali. No woman do cry. I can sing that too. Elvis Presley, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. You understand? So not to say Paro said, drunk and disorderly. Or he said, remember when you couldn't even walk. You understand that? Remember when you couldn't even walk. I say, remember when you couldn't even talk. I say, remember when who used to wash your clothes for you, who used to wipe your nose for you, and who used to hug and kiss you. I say, remember when who used to change your diaper, who used to give you supper. Don't forget your mother and your father. That was Carlos Carl, Carl, Power in 1958. I was about four years old and I liked that Carlos and I learned it. You understand? English songs, as well as Indian songs. I didn't know much English songs. Maybe about 50 songs in English, right? And, um, but all the rest uh, dedicate my life to more Indian singing. With your diamond and your gold, you are nothing in this world. So pray for your soul in this world. With your diamond and your gold, you have nothing to behold. Oh, pray for your soul in this world. Don't worry to weep, mother, don't worry to cry. The heaven is my home, I'm just a passing by. With your diamond and your gold, 
You are nothing in this world. Oh, Heavenly Father, receive me when I die. Oh, earthly mother, I am just a passing by. Jesus, your Savior, he rendered his soul. Call him Allah, the Savior. He give you his soul. O oh, Lord Rama, the Savior, you're bound to give him your soul. So pray for your soul in... Aye bhi akela, jaye bhi akela, Do din ki zindagi hai, do din ka mera. Aye bhi akela, jin ke liye hai tune, maharat jaye, matlab ki yaar kari, sab hai padaye. In ke liye hai kitna, उन्हें धूख झेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला मो पफी बराल पिनर पफी आई भी अकेला ये बोन तो मालूम है हाँ जाए भी अकेला बने रहते हो बार बार कार गोरी जमुना ही लोरे जुलानिया ते गे मचली कार गोरी जमुना ही लोरे जुलानिया अरे ले गे मचली अरे ले गे मचलिया ले गे मचलिया हले गे अरे तार गुरी जमुना ही लोरे दूर ले गे मचलिया साथ मरे खोदे तसुरा खोजावे साथ मरे खोदे साथ मरे खोदे तसुरा खोजावे अरे सही यार लगाए महाजाल तुलनिया ले गे मचली 